Hey guys, I want to talk about holding a site on Inferno because in the last demo I watched we had a really hard time holding this particular site. Uh, the main you, the main setup I'm going to tell you guys about for holding it is crossfires. So the previous video I showed you guys it was about how to push mid and push yeah how we were either going to push mid or push B. Uh, in order to gain some control. Well, now I'm going to show you what to do um, if you've, say you've pushed earlier in the round and it didn't work, or you've pushed earlier in the half and it hasn't been working, and so you want to you try something in the passive route. Okay, so the first thing is there are two places to crossfire aggressively and two places to crossfire passively. So I guess I'll talk about the passive one first because they're because they're more intuitive. So let's say you have three people. It also works if you have four people, but um, it's going to be more rare that you have four people. So I'm going to talk about three people this time. So let's say you want to crossfire site. You want to have two guys site. And what I mean by site is anywhere, anywhere, obviously here, but also I kind of like moto kind of counts as site for me. I wouldn't consider graveyard, but I would consider moto because you can fall into site really quickly. But, but moto is nice because you can sort of spot the arch wrap at the same time. Anyway, moto is kind of a transition position, transitionary position. And that, but it's in the site. Okay, so you've got two guys site. You've got one guy here, for instance, and another guy, you know, ninja, next to ninja, ninja, that kind of thing. So if they come out apps or if they wrap lane, then you're going to kill everyone. That's basically what's going to happen. So then the third guy's job is to. Well, yeah, you don't want them to be able to wrap arch. So the third guy will probably be, I mean, if he has an op, it's reasonable to hold like this kind of angle. Hold something like this where you can shoot and fall back. Uh, it's also, you could also be library. You could also, mm, I wouldn't want you to be here. Nah, you'll be fine. If you're here, you can hold that. And then the guys in the site will um, will kill anyone that might be able to flank flank the opera. So there's one of the second of the two uh, passive setups is if you stack apps. So say you've got one guy there and the second guy wants to be here. So you can uh, the purpose of this is to destroy anyone coming out the balcony, but also to kill anyone pushing up. Uh, pushing up to here. It's actually very similar to stacking stacking the site um, But you don't want to have if you have one guy site and one guy pit It's very easy to isolate both of those players. So it's better to pick one or the other Anyway, and this guy can you know he can jiggle uh, ports, but you generally want to hold uh, You don't really want to jiggle ports. You more want to like look at Look at the balcony and spot both of these. Get ready to put out a put out a Molotov with your smoke, and then you can stand over it. Because if you shoot the guy at the porch, then this guy can't help you whatsoever. He can only help. Yeah, he can only help if you um, if you let the bad guys push up to here. And then the last guy's job is to generally like watch mid so like this isn't like a lot of times the mid guy is just or the the last guy will be offing mid and it's left to the um, it's left to the guys in the stack to do most of the work because that's what the stacks for. so you're, you're putting two people in a position to hopefully get like two or three kills so anyway the opera will be holding an angle like this or you could be holding moto or it's, it's actually reasonable for you to be holding uh, an angle like this early in the round when you know they can't be boiler because uh, <clears throat> if you know they can't be boiler uh, you can shoot here and if they try and chase you you've got someone in pit to help you but generally you'll be around the arch position 
so that you can rotate to B if necessary, but you can also help watch these guys. Uh, you know, if you can shoot them as they, as they cross here, and then if they try and wrap, then you can shoot them there. Now to the fun part, how to hold with the advanced crossfires. So this guy's already set up for one, even though something's wrong with his legs, whatever. So you can hold mid. You can either have um, one on each side, but generally I prefer, I wonder if I can boost on him. Nice. I generally prefer to have two on one side versus like two on one or the other. So you can stack porch, you can stack arch, stacking arch, you'd put, you know, you'd go, you'd put one guy, one guy here, and the other guy here, and you'd shoot, you'd fall back, you'd let that guy shoot, then you'd come back, and you, you know, you'd, you'd peek off each other to get the kills. Or if you're stacking porch, one guy maybe comes up here, and the other guy goes right here or under under the thing yeah under here or what was o-town's favorite spot you didn't you like to know that you can get up here i think you were like geeking out that someone shot us from up here yep these are good spots although you can't see mid there you go you can see mid from here yeah <laughs> i'm having a lot of fun with this spot anyway that way, if they come up mid, they're not one. They're not going to expect two people on one side, so they might smoke off one side uh, and flash, and then like you can hide and then repeat. Uh, they're not going to expect two people under the porch or on top of the porch, for that matter. So hopefully, the surprise, you know, if they if they swing two or three guys out quickly and they're surprised, they might kill one and keep running and only one of them might notice the guy on top. I know I do that a lot. If I'm not expecting there to be more than one person, I'll just keep running and then get shot in the back and then feel foolish. What else do I want to talk about? Yeah, so then, then what you need to worry about is someone coming from, um, coming, someone wrapping apps on you. So the third guy's job is probably gonna stay in the set, be to stay in the site and watch out for that. You can also sort of turn it into, you know, you can wait here so that if they do come out apps, you can have your friend here help you. And if you have four people, that's even better because then one of you can be in the site and one of you can be right underneath. And that way the guy underneath, who's like the extra guy, um, can help with mid and then you can also help with the balcony. And just like, um, if you want to see Let's see who plays that position on. I know it's Cold Zero on um, SK, but they suck right now. So I don't. I don't know. If you want to watch some old school SK, you can watch Cold Zero to get all sorts of work done uh, from this position. But I don't know who plays that on Astralis. Yeah, I think Edward plays it on Navi. So how much to see there? The last one I'm going to talk about, it's been a bit of a long video, but hopefully it's not too terrible, is stacking apps. This guy is set up to stack apps, and there are a couple ways you can do it. Uh, if, you want to, if you want to push up here and ask the last mid guy to give you a pop flash, that can be real, ah, oh, that was a little bit shallow, a little bit shallow. Let's throw this one better. There you go. That was a nice pop flash. It bounces once, um, but it bounces so close to popping that it doesn't really matter. Get the flash, peek out, shoot people, and then come back and take this position. And then you can even make noise like that, and they won't check this corner. And then your other guy can get a couple of shots in the back, and then you can repeat and kill the last guy. Because there's usually one straggler. Um, what else do we need to know? All right, so yeah, if you're pushed up in apps, then obviously no one's coming through boiler. And obviously no one's coming through balcony. So the last guy's job is to watch middle. And that's where you can opt from porch totally safe because you don't have to worry about uh, boiler whatsoever. Plus, if there's like four guys in apps, you're probably gonna have enough time to come here and take one sh oops, shot. <laughs> I forgot the bot was there. And take one shot. You're gonna have time to take one shot because they're gonna be busy killing two instead of one of your teammates. So the gist is, when you're looking when you're looking at the map, 
There are four places to stack. You can be in the site, you can be in the pit, you can be in mid, or you can be in apps. And then from each of those places, you have some variety. Like if if um, if they're coming mid, you're probably going to stack port. Or if you're stacking mid, you can either stack arch or you can stack port. If they're coming apps, you can either you know you can push up an apps or like. You, you can push this, but that's not really a stack. It's more of a push. So you're going to come in through um, through the balcony and walk and walk through the corridor. But anyway, yeah, you can play you can play on this side. You can even fit two on this side, although it's a little risky because then they may, like they will check it. So then yeah, you can push up an apps. If you're in pit, you've got you like. The two the two sides of the pit. If you've if you've got site, you've got moto site, and then ninja. Like there's a whole bunch of places to choose from. The idea is at the beginning of the round establishing where the stack's going to be, and then making sure that the third guy uh, covers the holes and doesn't die. Because uh, if that third guy dies, then the whole point of the stack of uh, funneling them into one position isn't going to work. So I think incorporating these. I uh, will really help our CT side of Inferno.